Hey guys, today's video is going to be another Poshmark Q&A. Let's just get right into it. Okay, first question. What is one thing you would never buy off Poshmark? Hmm. Honestly, the first thing that comes to my mind is underwear. Um, you know, some people sell underwear. And I'm talking like bottoms and tops. I don't like calling bottoms the P word. I'm not really fond of the P word. You know, I call them undies. But yeah, I wouldn't buy undies or bras on Poshmark. Even if it was new with tags. I don't know. They're just kind of... Mm, I don't know. I don't really... You know... Yeah. That's like the first thing that comes to mind. Mm. What do you do when people like multiple things in your closet? I had someone recently go through my closet and literally like 35 things. Should I bundle them all? <laughs> Why are they liking this many things? What do I do? Please help. Okay, so that happens to me often. They probably are going to buy 35 things. So you could either do a couple things. You could either do nothing. You could maybe send offers to likers on like a couple of those things. Or you could, um, you know, add like a couple of things to a bundle and then comment in that bundle and be like, you know, I saw you liked a bunch of my things. Um, you know, if you're interested in purchasing anything, I don't know, just say something to them. Like, just let them know that you saw that they liked a bunch of things and if they want to create a bundle, um, you know, then they can. Yeah, that's what I would do. I wouldn't really think that they were going to buy 35 things. Um, I did sell a big bundle the other day, though. I sold a bundle of 14 things. I think that was my biggest bundle to date. I've sold bundles of 10. I sold a bundle of 12 once, but 14, 14 is my biggest. Um, but yeah, 35 things, that's a lot. Um, you definitely have to upgrade shipping. You sold a bundle of 35 things. Um, you know, some people just go through and like things just to like things. Um, they really have no intention of buying stuff. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, your order is behind schedule and is likely to arrive by 2 to 2.30. Fuck you, Instacart. Like, sorry. Pardon my language. This is my first time using Instacart. Maybe it's my bad for using it during a pandemic when everyone else in the world is trying to use it. But I'm just trying to get shit to my sick mom. And I'm just, I, I have no patience. Like, I, I ordered, well, okay. This is, we're going to go on an Instacart rant right now. So I tried to order yesterday afternoon. said it was all um, booked up for the rest of the day. I'm like, okay, so I'll order super early in the morning. I ordered at like 6 o'clock this morning, and it said delivery between 1 and 2. It's 1 o'clock right now. And then I just got a notification that said now it's going to be between 2 and 2.30. Like, I, what? <sighs> all right, next question. Was I done answering that question? I think so. Okay. Moving on. I came across someone's closet and I really, really like their style and all the items in their closet. I only have one issue. They are overpricing things by a lot, like 300% a lot. <laughs> what can I do? Do you think that they are just being greedy? The offers that I would send them are a lot less than what they're asking for. What should I do? Um, okay, so, you know, you get people on Poshmark that uh, pricing can be all over the place. You know, you can have some people price things super low because, um, well, for, you know, for a couple of reasons, maybe they just want to get rid of something. Maybe they don't know what something is actually worth. Maybe they just don't care. And then you have people that price things like ridiculously expensive because, um, you know, it could be maybe they don't know what it's worth. Maybe they think it's worth a lot of money when it's really not. Maybe they overpriced because they want to leave room for offers. Uh, maybe they overpriced because they just genuinely hope that they get a lot of money for an item. Well, there's all kinds of different reasons why people price things the way that they do. Something in their closet that you're interested in, send them an offer. Who cares if it's lower than what they are pricing it for? Like, that's what offers are for. You know, then they'll come back with a counter offer and you can, you know, you can play the counter game. But I would definitely still send them an offer. I wouldn't just be scared because things are overpriced. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot and see what happens. Have you ever sent out offers to likers and then had somebody purchase the item full price a few minutes later? I have, and it's a great feeling. <laughs> that actually happened to my husband last night or the night before. He sold a pair of shoes, he sent out an offer, and then somebody just bought him outright. And he's like, holy shit. I'm like, yeah, isn't that great? That's awesome when that happens. Um, yes, yeah, so that has happened to me multiple times. Um, and I have had actually a couple of people get upset. I had to block them because I sent them an offer and then like literally, you know, like five, 10 minutes later, somebody bought it outright and they 
um, commented on the listing and they were like, I was gonna accept the offer, that's not fair, blah, blah. I'm like, hey, you should've been quicker. Like, it's, it, it, it's absolutely fair. Like, what do you, but yeah, they were just being nasty and I ended up having to block them. Um, but yes, that has happened to me and it is a great feeling. <laughs> Next question is, I am very scared of this coronavirus. I feel weird trying to sell things during a pandemic. Do you think that we should stop buying and selling during this pandemic or just carry on as normal? Okay, so, you know, there's no denying it's craziness going on in the world right now. Um, my opinion is, I think we should try to carry on as normal as we can, like to have things be as normal as we can. Yes, people are out of work and, you know, financial situations might be strained, but I don't think you should give up on selling like all together. I really don't. Um, I'm definitely not doing that. I'm just trying to carry on as if things are normal in the back of my mind, knowing that there's a shit show going on outside and if sales are slower, which they have been, um, then that's the reason why and I'm not gonna get discouraged about it. I actually saw that uh, Christy from Raw Beauty, Christy, if you guys watch beauty videos, um, I've been watching her for a while, she's great, but she tweeted the other day about how she felt awkward like doing makeup videos and like doing normal videos when there's like literally a shit show going on outside. Um, and I, I don't know, I kind of, I mean, yeah, it might feel a little weird, but I feel like that's what people want. People want to feel like there's some sort of normalcy going on, you know? So I think it's good to continue with like the beauty videos, you know, the haul videos. I think that is normal. Um, you know, but in the back of your mind, go into it knowing, like same with resell it. Know in the back of your mind that shit might be different because of what's going on in the world. But I think it's good to continue on like normal. I don't think it's good to like completely ignore what's going on. Like, yeah, sure, address it, but I, I don't feel like we all need to just change things drastically. I feel like that would make more people anxious and just make things even weirder. You know, it definitely feels, you know, a, a little weird, but I'm I'm gonna just try to continue on as normally, normally, as, as um, normal as I can. As normally as I can. <laughs> you guys understand what I'm saying? You know, like, yes, it's a shit show, but I don't feel like we should completely stop everything and, man, how, how, how do I describe this? Yes, we should stop doing the things that are gonna contribute to making this virus worse, absolutely, but like reselling, making beauty videos, I don't, I don't think that that's, I think it's just gonna make things worse if we completely change things up like that because I think it'll stress a lot of people out. I don't know, I just think we need to keep some sort of normalcy in this pandemic. The last question is, do you think that it is rude to reposh something? I bought something on Poshmark and it ended up not fitting me correctly and I don't know what to do to it. Do you think it would be rude if I relisted it on Poshmark? Not at all. No, I do that all the time and it's not because I bought something that didn't fit, it's because I, I a source on Poshmark, like I'll buy something on Poshmark and I'll turn around and flip it. Um, I don't think that's rude at all. You know, you're buying it from a person, they're getting their money, so once it's in your hands, who cares what you do with it? You know, like it's not really their business. Of course you wanna take your own photos of the item. I know like some people turn around and reposh things and use like, I keep kicking my desk. Um, and they use like the original listing pictures, like somebody else's pictures, I don't think that's right. You know, use your own pictures. There's absolutely nothing wrong with buying something and then turning around and flipping it. That's what, that's what, that's what I do in general. I buy something from a store and I turn around and flip it. It's really no different than buying it from Poshmark and turning around and flipping it, you know? And if you have a buyer that gets like offended with that, like just, just, just ignore them. Don't, don't let it bother you. Cause again, it's really none of their business what you do with the item after you purchase it from them. Again, as long as you're not, you know, using their photos or anything, it's, it's really none of their business. So no, I don't think that's rude at all. Just kidding. This is going to be the last question. Do you still follow a lot of people? And if so, does that help your sales? Do you follow people every day? I get lots of advice from resellers saying the amount of followers doesn't matter, but I notice I get more sales when I follow people. Okay. I totally don't agree with people that are like, Oh, you don't have to have a lot of followers. Well, hold on. I don't agree when people say that follower count doesn't matter because having a shit ton of followers can absolutely 100% contribute to more sales because when you share stuff that's more eyes on your closet, you know, so I don't, I don't understand how people can say that you shouldn't worry about 
follower count. That does not make any sense to me at all. Um, so to answer your question, yes, I do still follow people. I follow people every day. Um, I try to follow as many people as I can every single day. I recently learned that the daily follow limit is 10,000. I don't follow that many people. I follow maybe a thousand people a day. Um, but yes, I do still try to follow people every day. Um, and your other question, um, do you think that helps your sales? Absolutely, I really do. Don't, honestly, don't listen to people that say that it doesn't because that just doesn't make sense. The more followers you have, the more eyes on your closet, the more potential buyers you have. So how can people say that follower count doesn't matter? You don't have to have a shit ton of followers to have a shit ton of sales. But again, the more followers you have, the more eyes in your closet. And following people doesn't take much time at all. You can literally follow like hundreds of people in like five minutes. So, you know, it's 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 worth it to me. I definitely, I tell everyone, follow as many people as you can. That's like my biggest tip on Poshmark. Share your closet as often as you can and follow as many people as you can. But that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below. You can send me a DM on Instagram or tweet me on Twitter. If you're new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. It's keeping it rad. You'll get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. So thank you. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Stay inside. Wash your damn hands. Don't go out if you don't need to. And hopefully this shit show will be over soon. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.